What's up, guys? Welcome back to our Road to Dark Matter here on my second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from NH saying that he wants us to get the size done here in multiplayer. So that's what we'll be doing today. Also, NH, probably one of the greatest mods out there, does a whole lot for me. Picking the size, probably the most painful melee weapon to get done in this game. I got my eye on you, man. I got my eye on you. But I've been spending a lot of time here on the side. It takes forever. Also, I mentioned this in our last video when we were getting uh, the Groza Dark Aether on how melee weapons should not have weapon levels if I'm not unlocking anything for them. So I've used this weapon probably for about like, what, six hours or something today. It's it's taken a long time. I'm not going to lie. But we finally have it max level. It took a while to even just get it to 30. But we have all of our spray camos done. So we have 75 kills with it, which wasn't too bad. A uh, Stripes 25 backstabber medals. This thing only one shot kills from behind. So I was mainly going for backstabbers anyways. And then for our finishing moves, we need three more, which shouldn't be too bad. But I probably attempted like a hundred something finishing moves. Like I've initiated a hundred finishing moves and I've either had them stolen or have just been killed during 90% of them. So if you're one of those people out there that takes a finishing move when you see somebody doing it or like you kill the person, I would like to place my nuts firmly into your mouth with my butthole over your eyes and shit onto your face. Anyways, uh, we we need two more kills while injured, which isn't too bad. Uh, we should be able to get that done pretty quickly. Uh, I have all my kills while sliding done. This one was awful to do because the size, like I've mentioned before, are a two shot kill to the front and a one shot kill to the back. So getting a kill while sliding and into their back is extremely uncommon. It, a lot of things have to happen and you have to make sure that nobody turns around and sees you last second. So like this is like ninja perk required and everything. So for this, I had to go into hardcore, do a lot, a lot of grinding there. And it is so painful doing melee weapons in hardcore. Please, if you're doing melee weapons, do not do them in hardcore unless you're doing the size only for specific challenges. And then for science kills while enemies are disoriented by smoke, flash, or stun. Uh, if you guys have been around for a while, you know that melee weapons are some of my favorite. And what I like to do is use danger close with a double smoke class and just toss smokes out. And that's basically how I got all those done. And then psychedelic double kills. This one's been taken a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Even in hardcore, when they're one shot kills, very difficult to do because I'm getting killed all the time, but I think I'm getting in more of a groove here. So hopefully we can get that done. And like I said, this is the class I'm using. I got danger close here so I can get the double lethal, double tactical. I don't know why I, I couldn't think of the name of it for a second, but smoke grenades, tomahawks, really love using tomahawks here. I actually got a couple nice ones. A uh, field mic, I feel like the field upgrade does not matter too much. So I just have field mic on. It gives me a little more extra information. Uh, attack mass. Normally, I would run flak jacket, especially if a lot of people are using explosives, but tack mask here. Like when you're using melee weapons, if you're stunned, you can't swing at all. Like with normal weapons, if you're stunned or flash, you can still shoot. But with melee weapons, you're just stuck there. You're a sitting duck. So tack mask has to be on. I was using assassin to get this thing leveled up faster, but now I'm on to quarter master. That way I can recharge my smokes and my tomahawks. And then ninja, this is just so people don't turn around and see me like while I'm right behind them. Uh, makes it easier to sneak up on people. But without further ado, uh, I found out a way to format these videos. So let's hop on into that. So I think what we're going to do here is I've recorded some clips from what I'm playing and we're just going to go through and I'm going to commentate over them because these are some pretty good plays that I got. Okay, so I don't quite remember which one is which. So we're going to have to hop in and see when I do something crazy. So I know I had a couple like really, really insane plays. Like I, I'm surprised that I even got them. Right here, I think this is a nice double. Nope, I got killed. Oh, right here. Bing, bang, boop. Anyone else? Nope, that was it. Just a triple. Okay, so we're starting out light. I think this one's pretty decent. I thought I'm going to smoke here thinking this guy's, you know, actually playing, but he's AFK. Come over here, grab the guy that's laying down. Get this guy that's sniping. Somehow it still takes two because I hit him in the side. And then I think I hit this Tommy. Oh, yep, right there. This guy's also AFK. Love taking advantage of people that are AFK when using melees. I think some of these earlier ones are kind of weak, to be completely honest with you. Cause I'm like, holy, holy shit. I'm getting more than one kill. Now this one's pretty decent. It's nothing crazy. This guy keeps coming up here to snipe. So obviously I'm going to wait for him and take him out. And I just do a, the Assassin's Creed leap of faith onto those two guys and get a nice double and then promptly get killed. <laughs> okay. Now this one's kind of nasty. Now every, I play Nuketown a lot when I'm doing these melee weapons, just because I know like the, the movement, the angles that what I can get, but this guy's chasing me up the stairs. I bounce the Tomahawk off the wall and it nails him. Absolutely destroys him. And then I get killed. But that tomahawk was crazy. Now, this play is kind of nice. I come up here, you know, throw a tomahawk, miss it. It's whatever. get the kill. Go on over here for a second. Re reset. Do it on the stairs. Bop. Gone. His buddy. Sleep as well. And after I'm done with that, hop out the window here. I'm like, you know what? Let's toss a Tommy in here. Bop. Killed. I think that might have been it. Oh, wait. No. We get one more. All right. We'll take it. All right. Now, this is one of the games that I played in hardcore here. ICBM, probably one of the best maps out there. I have another crazy game on this map later. 
But here it seemed like just people could not see me. I, I felt like a ghost. I was just walking around, stabbing everybody. I was getting crazy camo progress, getting people in smoke. It was just great. Like nobody was noticing me here. Everybody just had their back turned to me and I was just racking up kills. Like it just keeps going. There's seven, there's eight. I think this is probably my highest streak with the size. All right, this clip just starts out nasty. It starts with me getting a finishing move. We move on up here. There's a guy with a machete. Shaleep as well. Come on in here. I jump out the window. I see there's a guy. Bam. Hold the tomahawk. Let me give that back. I'm like, all right, I'm done with this house. Let me walk on out here. You know what? Let's toss a, a Tommy in this window. Guess what? Bang. Dead. And Billy Mays fashion. We're not done yet. Oh, actually we might be. Okay, never mind. Sorry, Billy Mays. Now, this was probably the most fun game I played with the size. I got a game on ICBM, and everybody was just fighting over B here. This is where I got a lot of camo progress. I was just walking in, tossing in smoke, so I was constantly getting those killed in smoke, uh, like camos. They were constantly throwing mollies, so I was always partially injured, so I was getting kills while injured. And then I, with all the people in there and nobody knowing where the hell anybody was, I was just racking up double kills here. Like, I went on a five streak there just off rip. And then this is my most recent one. I don't actually remember what happened here. Get a nice kill over here. A little backstab. Get another one there. Can we get this guy? We do. Oh, and we got two people on site. Bang, boop. See you later. That's a quick five. Missed the Tommy there. That guy just dies on his own. Get another kill. This guy has no idea where we're at. We're at seven. And I think that's it. So that's all the clips I have from when I was getting this thing done. So let's go ahead and hop in and try to finish up our camos. Oh, we got ICBM. Let's go. Hopefully this goes just like that other game I had on ICBM. All right. Now to address the non-face cam for, you know, the past few videos. Uh, I know a lot of people have asked this and I have addressed it, but I, either people like comment before watching the video or they just were like weren't really listening to what I said. So I'm going to repeat it. Uh, I just felt kind of more comfortable recording videos without a face cam it felt like a lot less pressure i wasn't really anxious like to make a video i like what i feel like when i record with face cam on i'm like hyper aware that there's a camera on me so i'm probably not gonna be oh holy, holy shit hold on we're going off like i'm not gonna be as like crazy like comfortable as i am like without a face cam like i, I wouldn't be as funny or I, I don't know there's just something to it that makes me focus on more that i'm on camera than i'm just playing a game and recording a video but i have uh tested negative i've been fine for the last i don't know four or five days i only tested negative like two days ago i was just kind of enjoying not having face cam on you know not having to clean my room or really like get dressed or you know comb my hair or whatever i was just kind of just playing games and recording and it was it was a good time so when when i'm having days where i'm not feeling like doing face cam that's probably going to be why like if you guys don't see it but it, it kind of felt nice i was going back to my roots i didn't really do like a face reveal really until like the start of cold war uh the channel wasn't even really big then like it i think i had like i don't know fifty thousand, maybe maybe more maybe less but I thought it would add some value to the, the videos. And now, like, hey, you, you guys know if you watch me, like, I'm not that animated. I'm not moving around a whole lot in the in the face cam. I'm doing it now because I'm thinking about it. But, like, I, I kind of feel like it don't add that much to the video just to have my, my, my mug plastered on it. Besides, like, showing you, like, who I am. And that, like, I don't know. I'm just a dude playing games. Well, I'm pretty much, like, completely fine now. Uh, I, I don't really have any symptoms of ever anything. I still have a little bit of mucus, so, like, for some of it, not having face cam was me, like, just, like, having to get up and, like, spit out phlegm every once in a while, like, while I was recording. Or, like, blowing my nose or something and then getting back to it, so that was another reason. But now, I, I think I'm chilling, so we'll get back to streaming soon, hopefully on Sunday. Uh, we can get back to streaming our, our like, Sunday and Tuesday streams, so that should be fun. Uh, I, I've kind of missed streaming. It, it's it's kind of uh, overwhelming when I don't have like an idea of something to stream or like I just did a video where I don't need to get a, like a weapon leveled up or something. I'm like, oh, the, like today's the day I normally stream, but I don't know what to do for it. Especially on YouTube when you need to make a thumbnail for it. So you need kind of like a plan going into it. But I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out on days like that. Also, I think YouTube is getting uh, gifted members now. So we're kind of or YouTube's trying to, uh, you know, take that that market share that Twitch has had. Because gifted subs and members are like a real big thing over on Twitch. So I'm excited for that, for that to roll out to some other YouTubers. I think it's really like the top of the top people have it right now. So that should be cool. Also, like the King Kong uh, Godzilla event came out in Warzone. I haven't really even played it. Uh, 
I'm not, I haven't been a huge fan of Warzone uh, since Vanguard came out. I feel like it's because of Vanguard, so I'm not playing it. I feel like a lot of the meta weapons could be like Vanguard weapons and I just don't have them leveled up or like have the camos for them. So maybe we'll go and get like Vanguard camos at some point. Maybe not. I don't know. I, I, I just feel so uninterested in that game. Oh no, I'm getting tomahawked in the kill cam. But I watched some people play the, the Kong versus Godzilla event. I got tomahawked twice in the kill cam. Why are they putting me on blast like this? But I mean, it looked kind of cool. I saw I was getting hate. I don't understand why. I feel like it's a cool event that they tried to do. Like uh, COD players just can't be pleased. But let's check our camos. Okay, uh, we're still three finishing kills away and we need four more double kills. We got ICBM again. But back to the topic of Warzone. Uh, I feel like I haven't played Warzone very much because my friends haven't really played it too much. They haven't been too interested in COD since Modern Warfare, which is why I'm excited for the next Modern Warfare game to come out. I've had a lot of fun playing it with them, like Search and Destroy and all that. But I think some of them have gotten back into it, so maybe we should put something together for the, the King Kong vs. Godzilla event. But I also feel like it's a little too late. Like, by the time this video goes out, it'll be like, what, three days, four days into the event. I don't even know how long it lasts for. So I don't even know if making a video on it would be worth it. Maybe we'd stream it or something. No, please. Somebody help. <sighs> like he gets an assassination off that easy. Hold on, let me try. Nope. I just really need Modern Warfare to be good, man. I, I need the next Modern Warfare to be good. It's going to be painful. Please don't take my assassination. How did that... Okay. I don't know what happened there. I still got the kill for it. I thought he stole it. Maybe I should go back to Nuketown. This would be a good way to get those double kills. If I could get a kill or an assassination. Assassination is definitely probably easier to get on Nuketown. Come on, where's another person? There we go. Please double kill. No! Another complaint I have about these size is not like the, the fact that they're a two hit kill is bad enough. But if they had a faster swing speed so you can get those two hits in, it might be bearable. Like it seems pretty decently fast. But a lot of the time I'm forgetting to hit the, the other trigger. So maybe that's just on me. But most, if not all weapons can out damage per second the size like if you're running right at somebody so even if you completely outplay them outmaneuver them you're getting killed like i'm getting killed by every other melee weapon like you just saw there and people can out melee me like they just bop gone gun butt me and the size don't even kill that fast like it's so annoying how often you get melee killed using the size like i have two melee weapons and i'm getting out meleeed it's ridiculous Please come here. That's a double kill. Let's go. And kills while injured. I think we might have kills while injured done. We just need like what? Two more double kills and then three more assassinations. But I think if I get a, like a tomahawk kill and then just a normal kill after that with the size, like as long as I get it, the second kill with the size, it should count as a double kill. Maybe I should start getting kills with like the Groza. Oh, game's over anyways. I've been, I've been going negative in like almost all these games. As long as I'm giving progress, I'm fine with it though. Yubon got to be the worst map for melee weapons. Oh, good thing I only got to play two seconds of it. Why even put me in a game in progress if there's like three points left in domination? Why waste my time? All right, check this out. Cross map right here. Last time I called this was during the face reveal video, actually. So let's try to do it again. Yeah, I don't think that's happening. We got a lot of people coming up here, though. Around the smokes. Come right into my clutches, please. Let's run right out at him. Okay, he was ready. He needs way more patient than I am. But I'm going to throw this out there as a Hail Mary for any of you uh, computer tech geniuses out there. I feel like I'm pretty well versed in computers, but I don't know shit about overclocking or anything like that. So I recently went through a service that uh, overclocks your computer and like sets up uh, like OBS settings and everything to make sure like I'm getting the most out of uh, my components and you know everything went great my games run like amazing now I'm, I'm playing on my PlayStation so there's probably no difference but like when I'm playing like Apex or I even tested out Cold War on there and it seems like it runs very well the one issue I have though is after uh, the overclock I can't watch YouTube videos or like Netflix and anything in full screen Oh my god, please stab him. What was that? <sighs> this weapon's frustrating. But I, I legitimately can't watch anything in full screen because my audio will either com will completely cut out or just like it'll crackle. Like I can hear shit through the speakers crackling. Like it's... I I've tried to contact the, the company I went through. I won't say any names at the moment. So I feel like they're just probably bogged down with like not having a as many employees or just haven't gotten to the, like my support ticket yet. I I I'm looking for anything and everything here. I think we, we overclocked the gpu and the cpu Ooh, eat that tommy so i don't know what could be the issue i i've tried 
many things. I thought it was like a power thing. So I tried plugging my computer into a different uh, like power strip, like surge protector. Uh, I've tried disconnecting things from it, like thinking I was having too much stuff in it. Like I, I wasn't getting enough power to whatever needed it. I don't think that's the issue either. So I'm completely lost. If anyone out there has like any tips or whatever, anything that might point me in the right direction, I'm open to suggestions. Also, another thing that I, I learned today is that my controller, my, my controller triggers specifically are squeaky as hell. Cause I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm hitting my controller hard. And all, all I've been hearing all day is this. But besides uh, the squeaky triggers, I really like the, the PS5 controller. I think it's probably my favorite controller out there. Okay, now how can I get some double kills? I'm just getting stomped on seven and 21. Jeez, I have no idea how I'm gonna get the rest of these camos. There we go, I think that's a double kill. Please tell me it's a double kill. Thank God. Ooh, eat the Tommy right at the end of the half. Oh, this game is bullshit. What? There we go, that's a double. Is that another double? Please say it is. Oh my God, I'm tryharding so hard. Let's go, that is a double. I think we're done with them. We just need three assassinations now. This guy looks like a prime target. Oh yeah, all secluded in here. Oh, no way you picked up my size. I really thought he was about to kill me with my own size. Okay, just three finishing moves now and we're done. We gotta figure out how to get somebody in a spot to get an easy finishing kill. This guy right here, nope, got naded. Got another double kill though. Now that I don't need to get double kills, I'm getting them. That's just the camo curse. So let's just wait right here. Maybe somebody will walk through like this guy over here. Oh yes, let's go. Ooh, another guy just ran in here. Please don't kill him. He's mine. Well, that one, I can't blame him too much. The animation barely started. Put on another smoke. Somebody come into the smoke, please. I just want to talk. Fuck it, I'm coming to you. There we go. Please don't kill him. Damn. All right, well, we didn't have an awful game and we got play of the game. We went 39 and 32, which is not great. Just need one more finishing move, actually. Not even two. So the camel curse strikes again. Literally one kill, one finishing move away from getting this thing done. Everything else is completed. Right here, maybe? Please, nobody kill him? Fuck you. Where's the fuck you button? Right here. Up yours, pal. This is what I'm talking about with finishing moves, though. This is probably the most frustrating thing to get done. So many things have to go right for you to get a finishing move. Your teammates can't kill him. You can't get killed. It's got to be far enough away from a wall so it doesn't get canceled. It's just ridiculous, man. Somebody walk through my smoke right now. I demand it. Oh, this guy. Please, stay AFK. Nobody touch him. Yes, we did it! Thank you to this guy on the other team that let me do it. Oh no, he just has terrible aim. Is that it though? Please. Let's go. Finally, the pain is over. Oh, all right. I'll see you guys when we're checking out the camos for this. All right, let's take a look at what the Psy looks like with mastery camos here in multiplayer. Here's gold. Gold looks pretty good. The whole thing is covered. The only thing that is not gold is the wraps. And I think that's very tasteful. Very nice. A diamond, same thing, but... The wrap becomes gold and the rest of it becomes diamond. Diamond always has insane coverage. Looks real nice. I should probably get rid of my face cam so you can see it a little better. And then DM Ultra, same thing as gold, except instead of gold, it's obviously DM Ultra there. Still pretty nice, but let's go see what these look like in game. All right, this is what the sides look like in game with gold. These are absolutely beautiful. These things look gorgeous. On top of that, probably the coolest inspect animation out of any weapon in this game. They did the size right. These look so nice with gold, and I'm so glad to finally have them done. This was not the melee weapon I was envisioning us getting done uh, for, for melee plague diamond. We still need a special weapon, I'm pretty sure, or just normal diamond. I don't know why I said plague. I'm so used to zombies, but not the melee weapon I envisioned us doing, but we did it. Probably the most difficult one out there, but uh, we're champions, so all done. Anyways, I think I'm going to end the video here. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please start subscribing for all kinds of COD content out through the, throughout the week. Uh, excuse me not being able to speak English, but uh, please follow my Twitter. I'm trying to get to the point where I can tweet out come and get 70 likes. I think that'd be pretty funny. Uh, also, make sure you leave a suggestion below of what weapon you want to see us do next. Uh, we don't have too many done, so I'm not too worried about getting repeats. But if we do, I'll probably just pick something different. Uh, we're not at the point yet where I'm going to put a comment on every, any, any, holy hell, I'm having a stroke. We're not at the point where I'm going to put 
a comment on every video with what weapons we have done. But if somebody else wants to do it, uh, that'd be great. Anyways, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys next time. Later. Goodbye.